Hey guys, I finally finished it. Today we're going to do the post review for the Halloween cat. Stick around. Gotta see how shiny this thing is. So I completed my first diamond painting, my Halloween cat. Um, I completed it yesterday. Yesterday was a date in May. Does anyone know what date it is, this whole pandemic nonsense? Uh, okay, so yesterday was Friday the 15th of May. I got this on the 8th, so it took me about seven days. I am an essential worker, so I'm not sitting at home all day. <laughs> I also have two kids to look after and all that stuff, so different things going on here and there, plus I take time out to edit videos, that doesn't take an, an insignificant amount of time, and took me a week. No multi-placers, all single placed, and let me flip her over. Okay, here she is. She is so shiny, you guys. She's so shiny. I don't even know what to say, but she is absolutely adorable. I love her. I am so pleased with how it turned out. Got some oranges in here. I didn't have any problems with the canvas. There were no rivers in it that I found. The canvas itself is pretty good. It is fraying a little bit. It's not really the best quality canvas, but I am okay with that. I haven't had really any problem with popping grills. Did get a little bit of trash. I'm gonna show you my trash container. This is actually gonna be a long-term trash container because I love the idea of sand art in this little guy. This is a crystal head vodka, like one of those little two ounce 50 mil, as it says on there, um, bottles. I just literally had this sitting on my table because it was too cool to throw out, but I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna make it kind of a sand art of all of my trash drills. But there was some trash. Some of these were just in the wrong bin. Some of them were obviously too small, like that one. There's a red one that's stuck on the side that had a lip of extra, there it is. There's a little lip of extra material around it so they won't sit nicely next to each other. There's a couple that were a little bit wonky and the odd piece of weird trash, like there's an uh, orange rectangle there and there's a purple rectangle there that was just extra chips old plastic. That happens even with the best drills on the planet, you're gonna find that there's some trash, but you wanna obviously keep it to a minimum. I didn't have any problems running out of drills. Let me show you all of what's left. That was a concern since there was no BMC numbers for this. So I was a little worried. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Yeah, out of order. 6, 5, 4, three, two, one. See, there's still a fair bit left of all of them. Probably the most that there's left is in the black, but there was the most black of any of the other colors. I think it actually had two bags in the strip versus everything else having one. But I still had plenty, so I was not that worried. The little bit of trash did not throw me off at all. I didn't end up having to order any more. So as I said, this was meant to be a completely self-contained hobby, and it absolutely was. I didn't use any tools outside the baggies and the metallic tape to keep me from messing up the other thing to get this completed. I used the standard pen, I used the standard tray, and that's what I have left of the wax that came with it. I used one little corner to do the whole painting. So when I said that they send you way more wax than you're ever gonna need, that's what was meant because there's many more paintings to go in that and 
a new one that I got and new ones that are coming today. I ordered more, you guys. But it's not entirely my fault. A local store that's literally local to me that I can walk to started selling diamond dots. So I have, they're not allowing people in the store yet because of lockdown, but they've been doing, hey, if you order it, we'll drop it off at your house if you live locally. So I have three more projects coming, which my daughters are actually quite happy about because some of them are ones that they can do. And the big one is, I will probably do it, but it'll probably end up in their room. You'll see when that gets here. Okay, but yeah, this is meant to be a self-contained hobby and self-contained it absolutely is. I'm going to basically just take all of these little baggies exactly as they are, and I'm gonna stick them in a larger Ziploc with the name of the painting on it in case I do have any problems. Whoa! Camera just decided to commit seppuku there. Whoa, okay. So, I am actually just going to take all of these baggies and I am going to stick them in a larger Ziploc with the name of the painting on it in case I have any problems with uh, drills popping off or anything like that. Or in case later on down the line I pick up a guide for the DMC numbers and then maybe I can sort these in with the DMC codes. But I am going to hold on to them for now. I may throw them out later if I start getting a seriously huge amount of extra drills since they don't have the DMC codes, but for now I'm going to hold on to them. I actually have this oh so fancy container that I'm going to be keeping all my spare drills in. Yes, it's a dishwashing container, but reuse, recycle. I've also been keeping um, pill bottles. These are the Walmart ones. The only thing I don't like about these ones is that they're yellow, so you wouldn't be able to see the true color of them, but they will hold stuff. And these actually held little charms, so I threw them in there. And these held sprinkles, because I'm a cake decorator, that's what I do. Uh, one thing you will notice that is different for me and other diamond painters is a lot of them have fantastic manicures. I'm an essential worker. I work in a bakery. We are not permitted to paint our nails while we're working. So I just generally don't bother because I'd have to peel it all back off when I had to go to work anyway. So if I'm going to have an extended period of time off, sometimes I will do it. Sometimes I'll paint my toenails because they don't care about those. They're in shoes. But I will never be a hand model. Anyway. So that is the Halloween Kitty. Let's pull that back over. Let's see it again. Oh, it sparkles so much, you guys. I know that's hard to pick up on the camera, but it is very, very shiny. I did pick up a frame from Dollarama. I am going to see if I can use that to frame this when it's... There's a few things I'm going to try. I think I might cover the outside in like a colored duct tape. I have some just plain white duct tape that I might use or if I can make it look good I might put down more strips of this metallic tape and do that. That's an option. But I want to get this in a frame just to protect it and so that I can hang it. So excited to do more. Got more on the go. I will talk to you all later. Like this video if you, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you're somebody who likes to get notifications when their favorite content producers like me put up a new video. And I will see you in the future.